We are Trent and Allie, and after living in our van for the last two years, we made the difficult decision to leave our van in Argentina and return home to the United States to wait out the coronavirus pandemic. Definitely looks like a bit of a disaster in here. Like one more switch to flip and the lights and everything are gonna turn off. Yeah. We've built our whole life around this. Yeah. When we arrived, we expected to be quarantined, tested, or at least questioned. But that was not the case. I bet this doesn't look like Argentina to you. And that's because it's not Argentina. We've made it back to the States and we're trying to keep our sanity, much like the rest of you in these crazy times. So one thing that makes our situation different than probably most of you is that since we left the airport in Miami, we have tried to limit our contact with anybody whatsoever. <laughs> we made it to Allie's parents' house where her mom, her dad, and her brother live. I just want to leave behind and like- I love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. So we're hanging out in my parents' basement. We're here on quarantine, self-isolation, social distancing, whatever you want to call it. We want to make sure that we don't expose whatever we might have picked up while traveling to the rest of my family. And basically what we've tried to do, because we don't know the best way to do this, is we're staying downstairs and they are staying upstairs. In case you guys are wondering, Frank's loving it here. You're loving it, Frank? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a happy boy, Frank. Get that happy boy. Russell just came and delivered our food down to our dining table where me and Allie are about to sit down and then we get to sit and, and enjoy a nice dinner with our guests. Or I guess we're the guests with our host. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing Chinese social distancing. <laughs> Chinese food socially distanced. So we think this is the safest way to hang out with my family without getting too close to them. And uh, we're getting some home cooked meals and some of my favorite Chinese food in the process. So much to our surprise, when we landed in Miami from an international flight, the airport did nothing to check where we had been, check our temperature, any type of screening on whether we could be carriers of the coronavirus. So we have taken it upon ourselves to quarantine for the full 14 days, uh, but it's really hard, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even was there to ask us a question about whether we felt sick or to give us advice and tell us what we should do if we feel sick. This is something that I think is really scary because we've had hundreds of comments of people telling us, if you come back to the States, you're gonna be put into a 14 day quarantine. This is just not the case. So if you're going around in your day-to-day -day life expecting people around you to have been quarantined if they came from a separate country, odds are they weren't. What is this? This is blueberries and oranges because you don't have enough uh, fruit in your life. <laughs> This is blackberry jam and uh, muffins. <laughs> I love it. Since we're trying not to transfer germs upstairs and downstairs, Russell and Leslie made us breakfast. They put it on this little tray and then wow. they bring it to the bottom of the stairs. They go back upstairs and then we can go and get it. It's called a no contact delivery. <laughs> if you've been ordering food from Uber Eats or DoorDash or anything, that's how food delivery is made now during quarantine and my parents are practicing that no contact delivery themselves. <laughs> this is such a strange time that everybody is in right now, especially us, but we're just so thankful to be here with Ali's family where we can at least sit at the bottom of the stairs while they're at the top of the stairs and have a chat. So I think we're gonna enjoy our breakfast and we'll pick you guys up in a little bit. See ya. Amy, I love you. Love you. Enjoy your cookies. Bye. That was one of my best friends, Amy, up in Bozeman, Montana. She's hunkering down with her two little twins and trying to stay safe. But guess what we got tonight? It's pasta night.
I mean, honestly, it's the uh, stuff like this that makes me want to stay in quarantine forever. I mean, we're basically in prison. It's like a really <laughs> nice prison. If you're like a famous celebrity and you go to prison, this is probably what it's like. You can FaceTime all of your family and friends. You get delicious food. I really can't complain. I'm just excited to be back in the States. I know. At this point, like, we have just been so worried about even getting back to the States that now it's like, we don't care. We'll be in quarantine for as long as you want. As long as we know that our family is safe and that they're cooking us real food. Yeah. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> There's been... hot water showers. It's yeah, really, like, luxurious. Unlimited water. Yeah. Unlimited hot water. It's... it's the little things, you know. We're obviously being very precautious that we could possibly be infected because we went through the airport and went yeah. through airplanes. So we're just taking all of the precautions that we can. If we've infected each other, it's already too late. So. Yeah, and Frank. We had Frank to sacrifice too. Frank. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's coming with us. To the best quarantine partner anybody could ever ask oh. for. Oh, cheers. This is like eating in the van. It's not a big deal to me, but I feel like you guys are very inconvenienced to have to eat at the top of the stairs. It's very strange. But I appreciate it. Cheers, yeah. everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Let's just keep getting better and better. Quarantine could be a lot worse. Can't be quarantine. Quarantine Look, cookies. Me, it's me and Allie. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> <You're a grandpa. laughs> that's awesome. Thanks, Mom. Hey. On here, that's so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Golden browned. They're not always golden brown. So <laughs> they're looking mighty fine. You approve? I approve. It is uh, day seven or so of quarantine, self-quarantine. Not exactly sure how many days it's been. It's hard to keep track. Every day is the same. Hanging out in LA's parents' basement. It's kind of tough starting to feel like a burden on everybody. We can't really go into the kitchen. We can't like make our own food. We can't really do anything that we need to do. Allie's here editing. Day 523. <laughs> We're still in quarantine. Love and life. <laughs> Your hair is just definitely on quarantine mode. As you can tell, I <laughs> have not been getting ready or prepared to be seen in public, but you guys are our friends. So. I love how um, I saw a meme online. It was like, what you think your apocalyptic costume or like outfit <laughs> is gonna be, and it's like a Mad Max character, like super decked out, and then it's like reality, and it's like people in their bathrobes eating cereal in their basement. <laughs> Cuddling your dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think Frank has actually been really enjoying this quarantine because not only does he have a big backyard that he can run around and play frisbee and enjoy himself in, but basically we don't ever leave his side and I think he probably enjoys that. It's crazy because when we lived in a van in 60 square feet, we were so happy. We couldn't be happier. And now that we're in this basement that's like six times the size of our van, you'd think it would be totally fine, but just because we can't go and do things outside, we're going crazy. Some van lifers have cabin fever. <laughs> it can literally happen to us too, which is super interesting, but one thing we've been doing to try and combat the cabin fever is FaceTiming with friends and family. Like you guys probably saw in some of the clips earlier, we've had Zoom meetings where we've gotten four and five and six different groups of family members all together, which is awesome because much like you're going through this as well, everybody's going through the same problems right now. So it's nice to be able to confide in each other, tell each other stories about what other people are doing. It has been really hard to stay inside, but at least we've been able to break a sweat here in the dungeon and get a bunch of work done on our computers. We do have a pretty big project coming up that we're excited about. You'll definitely be hearing more about that in the next few weeks, but in the meantime, we're making the most of it. The weather's been nice. We've been enjoying the backyard, playing some Frisbee with Frank until we can go for a real run and go out into the neighborhood. Frank, go lay down. Frank's like, what are you doing? Go lay down. <laughs> I 
All right, now that we're all nice and showered up and looking professional, we actually have to jump on a video conference call with a couple of very important people. This has to do with our next big project that we've been working on for almost a year, and believe it or not, it's still going to happen, or so we think. How are you holding up with the, uh, the coronavirus stuff, Ben? No, so far so good. You can hear us, Brady? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> This is the dilemma of the quarantine. I feel like it's it's obviously we can't cook down here and there, We need to eat so we've gotten a no contact delivery Which is great, but you still wonder like is the food itself infected? This is just like such a hard ah, We don't know what to do. I've been quarantined so long that I am just so frustrated I will take I will do whatever it takes. I will wipe everything with a Clorox wipe I will sanitize everything my hands. They've been washed 17 times a day <laughs> Even though I haven't left the bathroom or I haven't left the basement <laughs> So I haven't left the bathroom <laughs> Anyway, as you guys probably know pizza is one of my favorite delicious meals that I I just can't live without it's weird though, right? Like what do people do that don't cook? during a quarantine. I don't know, a I've been thinking about this cook. too. People that rely on going out to eat and going out to restaurants and fast food. I know yeah. a lot of fast food places still have their drive throughs open. The people that are making food, the people that are delivering food, fast food workers, people that work at Walmart, any grocery store, truck drivers, as well as the- Delivery the, drivers. The delivery drivers, yeah. the medical staff, all of these people that are the essential workers. We are so grateful for all the essential workers that are putting their lives on the line yeah. to help everybody that's staying at home. And anybody that can still go to work right now is pretty much doing twice the work they were doing before and yeah. getting paid the same. Yeah. So it's just, it's just crazy and really we just wanted to say thank you to each and every person that's out there grinding away to keep our world as normal as possible. And I would love to know, like, if you don't cook, what are you doing right now to eat? Yeah, let us know in the comments yeah. <laughs> what you guys are doing because it's mind-boggling to us. So, Luckily, we have Allie's mom who's been preparing a lot of meals for us, which is why we got pizza tonight, to give her a break. And, I mean, thanks to Leslie, too. I think we're going to scarf down this pizza, and this is where we're going to let you guys go on this one. It's been about a week of living in quarantine, <laughs> of solitary confinement in Allie's parents' basement. Just a couple more days left of quarantine until we can just <laughs> be in the house normally. Because no one's going anywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even given anybody a hug since we've been back in the United States. Well, and I can give that you a hug. That is weird. I can hug you. We can hug each other. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hopefully things get back to normal soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure. A little window into our lives of what it's been like in quarantine in the United States. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.